11th century, burning of fossil fuels had generated most of the energy required by humans. Even today, electricity generated from fossil fuels supplies about 80% of the world's energy needs. Fossil fuels produce a large quantity of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases when burned. According to a report based Sustainable Development Goal 7, energy is the dominant contributor to climate change, accounting for around 60% of total global greenhouse gas emissions. So, how do we get this to like this? Thanks, Yong Li. So, how do we get this? Because of the depletion of fossil fuel and the reality of global warming has impaired mankind to search for a renewable source of energy. What's the meaning of renewable energy? I give you 5 seconds to think about it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let me tell you. Renewable energy is generated from sources that naturally replenish and they do not deplete. The common sources are solar, wind, hydro, geothermal, and biomass. Renewable energy has many benefits. First, it can combat climate change because it creates indirect greenhouse gas emissions. Second, renewable energy can decrease the pollution and therefore reduce the threat to our health. Last but not least, renewable energy is a reliable source of power because they do not deplete. In recent years, nanotechnology is being used in several applications to improve the environment and to produce more efficient and cost-effective energy, such as generating less pollution during the manufacturing of materials and producing solar cells that generate electricity at a competitive cost. Graphene is one of the carbon allotropes that looks like a sheet, which is one atom-thick crystalline form of carbon. It has a great potential to be used for low-cost, flexible and highly efficient photovoltaic devices due to its excellent electric conductivity and high carrier mobility. Due to its special characteristics, graphene has been proposed as a material for supercapacitor applications. The excellent performance of graphene will surely help and support the energy development. And that's how the development of science and technology help to care for nature. Thank you for watching the video. Goodbye.